with another lip balm review. This one has been requested quite a bit and I have been meaning to get around to it for a while, but the uh, new Revo in Vanilla Mint, which I love this color, don't you? But yeah, so I'm just going to get right into this and get it opened up. I've been very curious about what this one smells like basically since I heard it was a thing, but I'm in love with this color, so okay, set that aside. Okay, so Format-wise, what color do we think the wax is going to be in this one? I think it's going to match the thing, personally. I think it's going to be like the um, Blueberry Popsicle. I think that one was a bluish one. Let's find out. It's a little lighter. But yeah, it's very pretty, and I was right that it does almost match. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue. But yeah, format is just a dome with a flat top on it. And the packaging is just a cerulean kind of a blue beeswax, or not beeswax, <laughs> I'm still waking up guys, beehive shape, so there is that, um, this is not natural or organic, it is a synthetic because it's a Revo, although it does have beeswax in it, both real and synthetic, weirdly enough. Um, I don't know that it's limited edition, but it is part of the set of new ones that came out, uh, whether or not they're just temporary or if they're a permanent line at Target is anybody's guess. I have not been able to get the company to write back to my questions about that, so if any of you guys have gotten them too, please leave it below in the comments because I have not for the life of me been able to contact- well, I've contacted them, I just haven't been able to touch base enough to get them to answer it. So anyway, amount of product you get is a quarter of an ounce, as usual with Revos. Um, Shelf life on this one is till March 2019. Uh, price point on these, I think, is 250 if I'm not mistaken. If you buy them through the website, it's a little bit more, but it depends. Um, I don't drive, so it's very hard for me to just go to the stores where these things are sold, especially because we don't have Target right here in town. We have to drive like half an hour to get to the closest one. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so sturdiness-wise, it's the same textured plastic most Revos are, and it's hard plastic, so you don't really have to worry about it. Although it did look like it had a scratch straight out of the package, although it's hard to tell if it's a seam or a scratch. Mine only goes up part way, so I think it's a scratch, which sucks, but oh well. Can you guys see it? Right in the middle there. Right there. Can you see that? Kind of a bummer. Oh well. But yeah, so no medication, no SPF. So you know what that brings us to. Time to check the scent. It's weird. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. Um, give me a moment. <laughs> so it definitely smells like vanilla. I'll give it that. Um, I'm trying to tell if that's mint that I also smell in there, or if that's just a weird, almost chemical smell. Let's, um, let's do the thing Lip Balm Queen does, where she does a swatch on her hand and sees if she can smell it better. And there's no color payoff, thank god, I was worried about that with the color of the blue. It's just clear, so let's see. No, it still smells exactly the same. That's weird, and a little disappointing, because I was really expecting another one that was very minty, but also vanilla-y. The chemical-ish smell in there kind of bugged me. I mean, it's really faint. Don't, like, freak out. I mean, most of it is vanilla, but then there's, like, an undertone in there. That almost, I mean, I hate to make this comparison. It made me think of Raid, you know, the ant spray? I was like, what the hell? That's not mint. I, I don't know what else they put in there, but that is not mint. I'm gonna put it on anyway. At least it feels nice. Who knows, maybe it'll surprise me and start doing the minty tingle and it'll redeem itself, but... Ooh. That feels really nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's still basically just vanilla, <laughs> like straight vanilla. Um, 
So thickness wise, this is definitely a medium thickness lip balm, make no mistake. Um, it's very slick, really creamy. I'm trying to think if there's any other words that fit for <laughs> descriptors here. Um, yeah, I think it's basically just thick and creamy and rich. Okay, well, that's what this one is then, I guess. Um, I'm really not, um, sorry, my nose itches. I haven't taken my Allegra yet. But, um, not particularly getting the minty tingle. That's disappointing. Like, I can't tell if I'm psychosomatically tricking myself into thinking there's the tiniest little baby hint of it happening, or if there actually is. I think I'm just so psyched up expecting it because it's vanilla mint, and I know how the Revo beeswax mint one was, that I'm like so expecting it that my brain's kind of thinking it's there, but I don't know that it actually is. Um, I feel like there's a couple spots on my upper lip where I kind of almost feel it, but again, it could just be psychosomatic, so that is disappointing. I mean, it's not a bad vanilla scent for what it's worth. As long as you like vanilla, you'll probably still like this. It just isn't minty. It's like even more of a letdown than the Eos Vanilla Mint is because at least that one you can tell there's a little bit of mint in there. This one you can't tell at all. That is bizarre. Oh well. What can you do? You win some, you lose some. But at least what is there does smell good so it's not a complete and total loss. But yeah, shine factor wise, on my hand it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but on my lips, let's see. Yeah, a little bit, but not a ton, so there is that. Okay, longevity-wise, so I'm pretty sure this one will last a while because it's very thick, and um, it does feel like you'd be clingy even through something to drink. I went downstairs to get my coffee a little bit ago, and coffee has not been made yet, so I don't have it on hand to check the drink test just yet, so I guess when I get to the comparison videos, I'll be able to let you know how it held up when some is made, but, um, yeah, so, uh, uh moisturization-wise, so it does feel like it'll do a good job with that, at least, which is better than some of the beeswax ones have been from this collection, because other ones were just really waxy and didn't feel good, so this one, I am happy with how it feels, even if it's not minty, that's okay, I still like the vanilla, so it's all good. So anyway, overall rating on this, oh, excuse me, um, hmm, I, I have to dock it down for not having any mint in there, given that it's supposed to be vanilla mint, uh, so, ah, uh, goodness, I think I'm going to rate this one, well, because it's a very good vanilla smell, and it does still feel really good, I think I'm still going to be generous and give it a 7. Oh wait, is there any taste to it? I forgot to check taste. Not particularly. Okay. Because I was like, maybe it'll have a minty taste and it'll redeem itself there, but no. Okay. So I think I am going to go with a, giving it a 7, a flat 7. As it's rating, if it had mint in it, this would probably be more like a 9, but it doesn't. It just isn't there. And that's really depressing because I was looking forward to that being a thing. What can you do? It happens sometimes, especially with Revo, especially when they do hybrid scents that are supposed to be half and half different things. It happens. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway, even though it did turn out to be kind of a letdown to me. Um, so, as usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Do you have this one? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you find any mint in it? Because I sure didn't. Um, let me know in the comments, along with anything else you feel like leaving me. And let me know what you'd like to see me review most next. And until next time.